Hello students, today I am going to discuss with you a graph which was seen on 18th May 2019 in the academic IELTS writing test in India. Uh, the graphs below show the price of low fat milk and full fat milk in two supermarkets of UK from 2008 to 2012. Summarize the information below by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So you can see these are two graphs supermarket A and supermarket B. Uh, the uh, first graph is uh, uh, both the graphs have uh, the on the y-axis they have price per liter in pence and the lighter column is for the low fat milk and the darker one is for the full fat milk. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, I'm going to write the intro now which is based on the you know which uh, based on the question that has been given the given column graphs. So here you know which type of graphs you have been given so you can use the word column graphs or you can also write bar graphs and uh, below in your answer sheet there will be no graph so the question in the question the word is the graphs below. Now in the answer sheet there will be no graphs below so you have to omit the word below and instead you can say the given column graphs. Then for the word show you can use the word here compare because it's, these graphs are comparing the prices of full fat and low fat milk in two supermarkets of the UK from 2008 to 2012. Overall, it is clear that low fat milk was dearer than full fat milk in both supermarkets and supermarket B had lower prices than supermarket A during the entire given period. So overall, you can see the low fat milk, uh, here the columns are, you know, uh, uh, always uh, you know bigger than the columns of the low fat uh, full fat milk so you can say this uh, low fat milk was dearer than full fat milk in both supermarkets see you can see this so dearer means costlier so it's clear that low fat milk was dearer than full fat milk in both supermarkets and supermarket B had lower prices than supermarket A during the entire given period so you can see uh, in supermarket B, the prices of both the types of milk are lower, lesser than um, those in supermarket A. So you can see that uh, overview if given after the introduction saves time later on because here you have made the broad comparisons and uh, now you will not have to use this wording and you only have to put the data and your graph will be written in much lesser time. Uh, I observed this since I have started writing the overview after the introduction. I, I have advised my students to do the same. They have, uh, they have been able to write the uh, whole graph in uh, within the given 20 minutes time. Otherwise, they used to take one a minute or two extra to write the graph and that was, um, you know, proving very bad for the, you know, essay time uh, because they were cutting down the time they were given to write the essay and they were giving that time to the graph and overall they were not being able to complete the two tasks within one hour. But this has made things much simpler. So I would suggest that overview which starts with the word overall should be written after the introduction. It makes things simpler. Just try this. Okay, now we come to the main body paragraph. In supermarket A, the cost of full fat milk and low fat milk was 70 and 72 pence per liter respectively in 2008. So it's 70 pence per liter, this is 72 pence per liter. Respectively word here shows that uh, the first uh, you know uh, figure is for the supermarket A uh, for the full fat milk and the second figure is for the low fat milk. So this is uh, 70 and 72 pence per liter and then here you will notice that I have written the units pence per liter um, in full. I have not used the abbreviated form but in the rest of the graph I will be writing PPL and that will cut down on the word count also. The price of both fell by 2 PPL in 2009 but in 2010 both types of milk sold for 68 PPL. Interestingly in 2011 the cost of low fat milk sold 272 ppl um, but again fell to 70 ppl by uh, 2012 however 
the price of full fat milk fell gradually and reached 66 ppl by 2012 in supermarket b both types of milk were priced at 68 ppl in 2008 in 2009 however uh, the cost of full fat milk remained the same whereas that of low fat milk rose by 2 ppl after that the prices of both fell considerably with fluctuations and saw an all time low of 62 and 64 ppl respectively in 2012 so after that the price of both fell with fluctuations you can see fluctuations here and you can see fluctuations here so price of both fell with fluctuations and saw an all time low of 62 and 64 ppl by 2012 um, so here this is uh, the graph which I have written the sample answer this has come to nearly 190 words but you can see that uh, this is also 190 words but this is also much less uh, if I had written everywhere pens per liter in full it would have been much more words so you have to learn the uh, how to write the abbreviations of this of these units also uh, thank you very much for watching patiently I wish you do your best in your exam. You can learn a lot from these graphs. I'll be coming up with the uh, other graphs which have been seen recently in the academic IELTS in India. Thank you very much.